don't need nearly as much as we think we do at all. In fact, all we need is sustenance and a roof over our heads, honestly. My name is Emma Christensen. I live in the beautiful state of Montana in the northwestern part in a tiny cabin in the woods. My family has always kind of been into off-grid stuff. It took about two years. The opportunity just simply presented itself and I had to say yes. This cabin is 100% off the grid. It is powered by solar panels. It is heated by wood heat. Ever since living out here, my eyes have been open to how much I don't need, especially with limited space, because I just have four little cubbies over here that hold pretty much everything, winter clothes, summer clothes, all my clothes. My solar setup was probably the biggest expense, and I think it came in, by the end of all of it, around $1,300. It was the biggest expense, but it's a one-time expense, and then you are simply free to never have to pay a utility bill as far as power is concerned in your life. In the summer, I'm able to just get up, get ready for work, make a cup of tea if I wanted on my little burner that I have. Whereas in winter, my daily routine is I have to get up extra early to start a fire and then also be able to give myself time to get all the snow off. So I have to give myself probably an extra two hours to accommodate those things in the winter. And I would say that's the biggest difference in my daily routine in the summer versus the winter. The least glamorous part and not necessarily the least liked part, I would say is when I have to go to take a shower, I have to pump water into a bucket. I have to pour that bucket into a pot which can be boiled on either the wood stove. I pour it back into the bucket and then I have to wheel that bucket over to the shower area where I either scoop the water onto me or I have this little battery powered rechargeable um, shower head that can be dunked into the five gallon bucket and I can just kind of shower off regularly. I would say that's one of the least glamorous parts but it's one of my most favorite because it's so calming and peaceful to take a shower out in the middle of the woods. I am so much more able to enjoy nature and just go outside and listen to birds and it's beautiful. Like listening to birds over car horns is such an incredible thing that I didn't know I needed until I moved out here. I was very unsure in the first couple months just because I was still getting used to being in an off-grid situation. But ever since living out here and having the hang of it, I love it. I never wanted to stop. 